Happy Friday! Today's October 4th. It's my birthday! <laughs> and I'm so, so grateful. My two oldest sons, Jaden and Micah, drove last night uh, from South Carolina to spend the weekend a few days with us. And um, just, I cannot be any happier. So the three of them, Jaden, Micah, and Ethan, they're at the gym working out, building up uh, their muscles, getting stronger and so as they are working out on their physical bodies, I wanted to bring the word of life, the bread of heaven, the word of God to help strengthen my body, your spirit man, to build us strong in the Lord. Amen. Because faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of God. So the more we hear the word of God, the more we believe it and walk in it. Amen. The stronger we become and God wants us strong. Hallelujah. We're going to need strength to endure the things that we are going to face uh, in the near future. It's called Path of Life. You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence. The presence of the Lord gives us joy like nothing else can. With eternal pleasures at your right hand. Psalm 16 verse 11. The neighbors cutting their grass so it's kind of loud the path to life can be treacherous at times it often leads us places we do not like to go however there is joy found in the journey not only are there eternal pleasures stored up for those who remain faithful but there are rewards here now for following god and one of my rewards for following the lord is living in this beautiful place i praise god 10, 20 times a day for where I live, my job, my health, my sons, my relationship, my church family. God is so good. God is so good. There are rewards for those who follow him. Hallelujah. The greatest of these rewards is that we grow closer to God the more we will walk with him. We understand his love, his character, and his plan better because we have a relationship with him. It's not about religion, it is about relationship with God. The living, breathing, all-powerful, all-knowing, all-amazing, almighty God who created us, who holds our very breath in his hands. Amen, hallelujah. Following God is the only path that leads to true and lasting life. When we stay the course, he fills us with joy, makes his presence known, and leads us every step of the way. He leadeth me here by still waters. He restoreth my soul. Hallelujah. Lord, you have made known to me the path of life. And now I ask that you help me walk in it. Your presence fills me with joy. And my deepest desire is simply to be with you. Please continue to walk with me. I want to encourage you to walk with the Lord day by day, 365 days a year. Amen. He just wants to bless you and only in his presence, only in his presence, intimacy with our Heavenly Father, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, through the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. When we are born again, God gives us his Holy Spirit. Acts 2.38-39 Acts tells us how to get born again, how to be filled with the Spirit. God gives his Holy Spirit who repents and believes in his Son, Jesus Christ. When we receive his Holy Spirit, we receive the gift of intimacy with God Almighty, joy, righteousness, and peace in the Holy Spirit. I bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. I love you, but Jesus loves you more.